Hello, welcome back Farming Simulator Club members. I know it's been like a week. I've been busy. Uh, laptop kind of went down, so I had to basically get a new one. Uh, just like this video, if you guys notice, there's no intro video. I will be uh, trying to get an intro video in very soon. It's not going to be that long. I'm going to try to keep it short. Well, right now I'm going to show you guys when new mods are coming out. I will be probably starting the live streams up again tonight. The Let's Plays and all that stuff. Trying to get everything back in order again. Uh, we got a lot of good mods in this week. Uh, let me know if you guys like them in the comment section below. And also, I'm going to give you guys a little helpful tip. Uh, I'll try to give you guys a tip like every week. If you are on the PlayStation Pro, or if I believe on Xbox, whatever. Uh, if you go to uh, Options, if you can see, uh, right here you have... Uh, quad ultra and full HD this is only for the pro and I believe uh, the Xbox one X if you have it on quad well uh, full HD you can do render quality which if you put it under enhanced what that means is basically the draw distances will be a lot further so you know like when you're driving the tractor or whatever you have something that pops up like a bush or something like that in the distance whatever that's considered the draw distances and everything and then you have, of course, full quad HD. I play always in uh, Ultra HD 4K. Okay, well just that's, that's just a little helpful tip. Okay, let's go to the new mods. Yes, I know I need to go through my mods. I'm at completely 100% full. Okay, the new mods we got, let's see, this week. We got Seasons Geo, South Morvea. Uh, this is by Zed. Uh, South Morvea is the warmest region in the Czech Republic. So this probably would be pretty good with the Snovka map. South uh, Morvea is a region of wine, sun, full tradition, and hospitality. Here you'll experience the sunniest days of the country, which is very favorable for the uh, countless vineyards. Sunflowers are also evidence of this warm climate. Okay, maybe not. I think it's just Novka is more like Russian. I don't know. Okay, then we have the Sidewander. This is by 83RND. This is probably the first one. Uh, with the Sidewander 1 from Curse Farming, you can clean the feeding places at the animals. Uh, price is 2,499 euros. Uh, required power is 40 horsepower and maintenance is 10 euros a day. And then we have the Una PL6 by Circe Modding. Uh, price is 2,000. Maintenance is 5 euros a day. Change law, they added lights, updated PBR, updated shaders, and of course the console submission. Okay, then we have ooh, a bus station. Uh, M4PJ3CTS. That's who this is by. Uh, this bus bus stop is place will be purchased for the price of 5,673 euro. That's that's really cheap. Uh, depending on the game difficulty, the owner receives revenue between 25 to 45 euros. Uh, the stop should be placed on level ground and the gas removed when placed. At night, the lights go on and off again during the day. The stop will make your map a bit nicer, and if you're eco-conscious, clean up the garbage. Okay. Okay, then we have the Agromash SP200 by VNSFD2. Do we have something else by them? I guess not. Okay. Uh, this is an intro crop seeder made by Agromash. General information, uh, price is 7,720 euros. Uh, maintenance is 4 euros a day. Uh, working with 3 meters. Working speed 16 kilometers per hour in combination with the AT30. Uh, functions, dynamic seating hoses, fill indicator. I like, I like when they had the fill indicator. Operating controller after attaching and animation cover opening. Okay. Let's check out this one. This is Sapphire GS603. This is by FQC Art for uh, Vertex Design. Um, the GS603 Grassland Regenerator from Sapphire is a versatile machine for mechanical weed control. It can also be used as a land weeder. The small cedar sower from ABV is capable of seeding grass and catch crop of or cover crop. Okay. Then we got the last but not least the Storm TC2100. This is by Agri Stretch Sketch. Bleh, sorry. Uh, price is 50,000 euros. The cost per day is 40 euros and it looks like there's, this could be like a pack of three. We have one that has 21,000 uh, liters it can hold, one that holds 24,000 liters, and then another one that holds 30,000 liters but that's only for like uh, silage, manure, and straw. Okay, and let's go check these out in game. Here we go. 
Okay, here we are. We're on Oregon Springs right now. We're going to show off these mods a little bit. Okay, right here we have the Sidewinder. This is basically to use to clean up your animals and all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty nice details. You see the stickers on them and everything. See the hook attachment. Okay, then after that we have is the, I believe it's, this is the Sapphire. Yeah, Sapphire PS300 M1. I actually really like this. This looks pretty cool. Looks like a little ladder thing right here too. Okay, and then right next to these things, these are the uh, the TC uh, trailers I was telling you about. Uh, 2100 trailer. See, they don't really look much different. Storm. Well, of course, the size looks different. And then, of course, that one has black on it. That one doesn't. This is the smaller of them. This bigger one. And then, of course, this is for the uh, silage and manure and all that stuff. I like these trailers. I like the lights in the back. Okay, and here's the uh, the aggro. I think it's really small. Huh. Thought this thing would be a little bit bigger. Okay, then right down here, this is the bus stop. This thing will generate money for you. It just looks like a regular bus stop with, uh, that's weird, like birds on the like bird stickers on them. Yeah, bird stickers. Ooh, we even have a bus schedule right here. Don't know if I can make out any of the times, not really. Plus, I don't think it's in English, besides bus transfer. Okay, and then, um, that's not a new mod. This, of course, is the Voltra. Let's check some of these mods out real quick. And there's lights right there. See the lights on the side. So those lights in the back aren't really that bright at all, or on the sides. Huh. Yeah, see how dim they are? Hmm. I think you might have to have a special attachment for this, I believe. Yeah, I forget which attachment it was. Uh, let's see if I can find it in here. Um, let's go to categories. Agro. Wait, wrong one. Huh. Well, I'll find out what it is. Okay, then we got also, of course, this thing right here. Let's see, we'll take a look at this. Make it go down. Then turn on. Looks like a, like a drill. Okay, then not at least right here. Oh, I actually like this thing a lot. This is a weeder, of course, and it also seeds, I believe. It seeds are just grass, oil seed, just grass and oil seed. And then you can open the cover like that. Uh, does it have lights on it at all? No, it does not look like it. Okay. So now we're going to see how many slots they all are and what's the prices of them. Okay, first one we'll go to is animal section. And there it is right here. Uh, it is 2,499 working with 1.4, it's two slots. 
Uh, required horsepower is 40 and basically does every single kind of crop, snow, whatever. Uh, operating speed of 4 miles an hour. Okay, then we have the trailers. Let's go look at the trailers. We have the TC2100. See, they're all 2100. Which is bigger. This one's 21,000. Uh, it's nine slots, $40 a day. You can change the wheel setup to twin radial 560 60R22.5 or T404 650R22.5, which is an extra 2,000. Same thing with this one, except for this one is 12 slots and it holds 24,000. Same amount of money a day. And then we have this one that holds 30,000. It is 12 slots and it can hold sugarcane, uh, uh, grass, manure, uh, anything like that basically. Wood chips. Okay, then we also have under weeders, we have the GS603 Sapphire. This is 8 slots, it can hold 300, it requires horsepower of 80, so that's pretty good. Uh, working with 6 meters, that's good too. Uh, $95 a day, 7 miles an hour, and it just seeds. Weeders pull weeds out between small grown crops, improves the fill state, it can only be used in the first growing stage of the crops. Okay, and then last but not least, I believe it's under sewing machines. I, mean, I know it connects up with something. Let's see. The secondary crop seeder can be used to sow green fertilizer, especially oil seed radish or grass. The seed drill is mounted on a suitable aggregate. Okay, the SP200. 7,720, working with the 3 meters. Holds 200, a uh, working speed of 9 miles an hour. And yeah, see the AT30. Where is, I don't know where the AT30 is. Okay, well there is those. I thank you guys for watching. I'll probably be doing a live stream tonight, so make sure you guys tune in for that, and probably start doing some Let's Plays starting this Sunday again. Uh, make sure if you guys like the video, you guys hit that like button, and if you have not subscribed, uh, make sure you guys do. And I will be getting an intro video back into these uh, videos and everything, so it's going to take me a little bit timeless, and if you guys know how to do them. I uh, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.